Well, um, I know as uh, software developers, application developers, uh, we want to be effective and efficient as possible, uh, not as a not only as an individual developer, but as a team. And uh, these are probably some kind of basic things, but uh, they're good reminders. And um, especially uh, when you're uh, working with a new team, uh, there might be things that uh, could be improved in terms of uh, being more effective. So one of the things I wanted to talk about was how to be effective with like just some of the tooling that we have with Visual Studio Code. And by default, if, if you want to create uh, uh, elements in your, your templates, you can basically use uh, built-in snippets that will do this for you. Now, a lot of times I will uh, create snippets uh, like a container template uh, pattern here where the container um, has something in it and then I use a, a async observable uh, with ngif, but then I also use ngif else with a template um, for the else uh, implementation. So for me to be able to remember how to do that over time uh, kind of gets a little complicated or if, you, if you're not familiar with it, you might wonder how to do it. So with snippets, you can just basically start typing in things like that. And basically the templates will start aligning uh, in your code for you. And then you can just type in your expressions, the name of templates. Uh, there's, there's even a template for a template right here. So we can just click on that. And there we have that. So templates are, uh, or these uh, snippets are very valuable in getting consistent code uh, implemented in uh, to your templates, as well as uh, uh, just being more efficient and effective. Now, there's a few different ways we can go around this. We could simply use the templates given to us in uh, our uh, Angular environment. We can also download uh, other extensions and install them like the Angular snippets for version nine from John Papa. Um, there's some great snippets there. And not only are snippets available for HTML, but they're available for our TypeScript code as well. So if there's certain type of statements or constructors that uh, you want to implement consistently, uh, templates are really interesting, uh, or these snippets are an interesting way to go. Now. One thing that we could do also is you can create your own libraries of snippets as a developer or as part of a team. So if you do the command palette and just type in snip or for a snippet, uh, you're gonna see this preferences where it says configure user snippets. Now you have the capability here to uh, configure snippets or even create snippets for HTML, TypeScript, React even. Um, but you can also create global snippets file or even a workspace snippets file. And those global files could be shared with a team as well. So uh, your team can organize specific snippets uh, for the things that you develop. So if you find something you're doing over and over again, you can create a snippet for that. And there's also other extensions that you can install that actually help you select code from HTML or TypeScript in your files and basically generate a snippet. And then it puts that snippet in the specific uh, snippets file that you have shared. So that's a pretty cool way to do that. Um, didn't know if you, uh, if many of us are using this uh, capability, but it's there um, and you can really kind of uh, expand that on that on your own and uh, develop uh, snippets uh, to uh, make you more efficient and effective and uh, more consistent in how things are implemented. Uh, one other thing that I thought uh, was interesting is a lot of times a team will have a specific uh, configuration for uh, linting or how they want uh, their code to look and such. And when you have this, you want to be able to make sure that your code complies as you develop it. Now, you could you can ng lint and then you can fix your lint problems and you can do it that way. Or you can do it a few other things like uh, automate the process of uh, linting and, and fixing that with uh, some packages that you can install. Um, you can install a Husky package, uh, Husky, um, and pretty quick. Those two combined uh, will actually, uh, with just a little configuration here, will allow you to, to basically have um, on save or on a pre-commit hook be, before you check your code in, 
uh, it will actually uh, verify and uh, uh, check and lint your code for you on a pre-commit. So this is some really nice automation for you, uh, something that you can stop thinking about, but um, it happens and it's a good thing because then it keeps your code in the format that's consistent with everyone else on the team. And especially if you have uh, lint checks uh, enabled on your CI process, then you'll want to be able to make sure you're not violating any of those uh, linting rules and such. And uh, this is one way to do it. It's just a very simple uh, 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 couple of packages to install a little uh, configuration to do that. Now, for me, uh, we're, we're linting uh, JSON files and TypeScript files. Uh, you can also lint HTML files as well. So this little patterns glob here will uh, help you define what files you wanna target uh, during that process. So that's pretty cool. Um, the last, one of the last things I wanted to uh, touch on about uh, automation is your development and debugging environment. Now, one thing I like to do is uh, when I'm setting up a new environment is to make sure I have a launch JSON set up and configured. If you're doing this for the first time, you're gonna have this add configuration at the bottom. And when you click that, it's going to ask you what you want to uh, create in terms of your configuration. I'll usually uh, just simply uh, do a Chrome launch and that way, uh, or you can do edge launch uh, if you're on Windows. But what this is gonna do is gonna create this configuration that allows you to uh, basically attach uh, and debug within Visual Studio Code, which I think is uh, a pretty cool way to do it. For example, I've already launched um, by uh, going to my little debug area here on the left, and then I click that, uh, F5 or to run. And basically when you do that, it will detach or attach to any uh, uh, debug uh, markers that you put in your code. And when it hits that line of code, it'll actually stop. And then you can go to Visual Studio and uh, basically start uh, using these tools here, like uh, the watch or even the call stack to determine you know, what happened before you got to this line of code, uh, what is going on now. So you can actually look at the things that are uh, uh, happening in the specific uh, uh, template or view here. And you could see and, and look at uh, all the different uh, items uh, on the, in your uh, debug uh, area on the Visual Studio Code. So these are really nice ways to kind of automate debugging. Uh, use that launch file, configure that and target whatever uh, the um, uh, browser that you want to work with. Uh, and such, that's pretty cool. And then uh, the last thing I wanted to touch on was a really cool extension from NX uh, Console. So it's an extension called NX Console. And when you use this, uh, this is a kind of a GUI or UI that sits on top of the Angular CLI. So if you're uncomfortable or not familiar with all the options for things uh, in the Angular CLI, uh, you wanna start getting ready for with some of those library projects that we talked about earlier today in the sessions this morning, you can actually just type in library. I wanna create a, an Angular uh, library and I'm using NX tools. And what it's gonna do is just bring this up and I'm gonna create a new library. And this is gonna be my, uh, video library or such, and you fill everything out using the form. You can define uh, if you want what style you want, uh, SAS or just regular CSS, and you just fill everything out. And what happens is it will actually uh, compile and run that CLI command in your terminal for you that you could copy and paste and reuse. But if you um, don't want to use the terminal, uh, this is just another way to kind of automate that process. And I find it a little easier to, to do when you're doing more complex kind of things, when you're trying to build out maybe even a module that uh, has a, uh, a, uh, a component module with a routing uh, setup with uh, uh, lazy loaded uh, configuration to a parent module. And when you do that, uh, basically um, that gets pretty complicated. But when you uh, use the NX console, it writes it all out for you. So you can just execute this. It does it in a dry run. So when you're ready to go with uh, what you like in your output, basically all you need to do is just click that run and you're off and uh, uh, you've created a uh, library. So that's uh, pretty much it for uh, what I have uh, to uh, share in terms of um, 
the uh, automation here, but hopefully uh, using snippets, uh, automating your linting process, using the launch configuration for debugging, and using NX Console to quickly use uh, the CLI to create uh, elements in your application. So um, enjoy the rest of the conference. Thanks. Thank you.